guys, so today's video is a little bit different than the typical videos I put up on this channel. Um, I'm actually vlogging today and I do have an entirely separate vlog channel, which I'm not that active on. I'm actually like the worst vlogger ever and I haven't actually vlogged since Christmas. But I wanted to vlog and post this video on this channel today because I'm getting a special eyelash treatment done that um, I guess it's becoming more popular. It's like a keratin eyelash treatment, which is kind of like a perm, but not actually a perm. And it also like tints your eyelashes. So your eyelashes look like perfect all the time, kind of like having lash extensions, but just not as dramatic. The reason I'm getting it is because I'm going on vacation soon. And I wanted to have like the option to not wear mascara all the time. So the question I wanted to ask you guys was how do you guys feel about me posting like vlog content to this channel i wouldn't say like all the time like i'm definitely not someone who does daily vlogging and if i did start doing daily vlogging i would definitely move my vlogs over to my vlog channel so i'd love your guys's input if you would let me know in the comments below that would be great so this is a before shot of my eyelashes my eyelashes are naturally long but they are not very like curled naturally they kind of like stick straight down so I just got the lash treatment done and they said that they're a little spiky right now because there's like this keratin kind of mascara that they have put on it. But I just wanted to show you guys the building that the lash place is in quickly because it's so beautiful. Even the ceiling is so beautiful. I really like these old clocks that they have. So here is a better view of what they look like. And like I said, they're really spiky right now because um, they put that like keratin treatment on them. I didn't vlog while I was in there because there was like two beds set up right in the same room and there was a girl next to me getting eyelash extensions put on. But if I get it done in the future again, which I'm thinking I will because so far I really love how it looks even though this is like supposed to be the worst it's going to look just because all my eyelashes are stuck together. If I do get it done again in the future, I will try to vlog it. So then I can take you guys along with me for the process. So we got home a little while ago and um, watched two episodes of How I Met Your Mother. Sebastian's actually gone now because it's his birthday tomorrow and I'm going to be like making him a cake and setting some stuff up for his birthday. So I wanted it to be a surprise. So I told him that he should go hang out at Starbucks for a few hours. I'm making a strawberry and cream jello cake. And he made this for me for my birthday one year and I'm not like a huge fan of like jello cakes or um, really any kind of fruity cakes, but I think it was something that he really wanted. So he made it for me for my birthday. So I thought it'd be funny if I made it for him for his birthday. So I just ran into a problem and I'm freaking out a little bit. I thought I had a few boxes of cake mix and the recipe that I'm using calls for one. I can't believe this is happening right now. Sebastian is coming to pick me up so I can go to the store to buy white cake mix. All right, so we are back and the crisis has been somewhat averted, although I did lose some time. So I picked up a couple boxes of the white cake mix. I didn't want to risk messing up like a recipe from scratch. I'm so happy. I finally have the cakes finished. I'm just letting them cool now. I have made the buttercream icing, which by the way, tastes so good. And I have some strawberries. So I'm a little bit nervous because I'm sweating so much and I'm afraid that the moisture is going to cause my eyelashes to fall. That's what happens if you get them wet over the course of like the 48 hour period is the curl kind of like relaxes. So I'm really hoping I haven't affected anything. I'm going to wrap Sebastian's gifts and hopefully that's not gonna take me very long. And then I'm going to start getting everything else ready. blowing up all of these foil oops happy birthday letters which i have to figure out how to string together since i don't have helium to blow them up i just used an air mattress pump uh which actually worked really well so i'm super happy that that worked out because otherwise i wouldn't be able to blow them up now i'm just going to frost the cakes So 
I finally have everything done, everything is wrapped. And it's actually a half an hour past his birthday and oh, God, I couldn't get them to stay up properly. So they're all kind of crooked, but this is what I did, which took a lot longer than it probably should have. But this whole setup here was a nightmare because these didn't come with an actual string. So I have them like taped onto the window and this like ribbon. Oh my God, I got the best. Um, okay, literally not a single one is lighting. Oh wow, that is so beautiful. Seriously, they're not lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, you made this. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thanks for making it and not just buying it <laughs> like I always do. Wow, where did you get those uh, balloon things from? They're yours, the ones you bought from me last oh. year. <laughs> I, I can't wait to try the cake. Good morning guys, so it's the next day now and Sebastian and I are going out for his birthday brunch. So I'm gonna give you guys an update on my eyelashes in a little bit. This lighting is really bad and I feel like because I'm not allowed to wear makeup for the first 48 hours, I feel like I look tired even though I'm not tired. I don't know, it's kind of a weird look. It is still winter in Vancouver. I don't know what is going on with the weather but every time I vlog, it's raining here which is weird because in the summer it's actually really nice and like super super hot but lately the weather has just been miserable i'm so excited to leave here and hopefully get some sun when we're in austin and la got our waffles some salted caramel sauces and then this is a what is it raspberry caramel right it's so good I got the salmon and poached eggs. Sebastian got the vegetarian paella with some avocado. And then we got a side of the potatoes. And oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. So they give the um, poached eggs with a waffle and it, it's like seriously the best thing ever. I'm so full right now. You have to help me. Please actually quite a bit later now we did a little bit of shopping at urban outfitters sebastian's going inside he's going to grab our movie tickets because we're going to the movies so i thought i would use the time to talk about my eyelashes a little bit just in case anyone's curious so this is the eye i was like sleeping on so the lashes look a little bit crazy and oh my gosh i am so looking forward to tomorrow when i can actually wash this like gel stuff off and just put some normal mascara on um also don't mind how crazy my hair looks so the process of having this done took a about I think like an hour and 20 minutes. It's definitely a longer process. It costs $150. I don't know how much it costs elsewhere, but that's what it costs here. And I think that that's like a pretty standard rate across the board in Canada because I did look up some other places. I'm trying to think of what else I should say about the treatment. It's apparently not a perm, but the one weird thing that I experienced was there was like this smell and it reminded me of when I was nine years old and I had gotten a perm at that very like salt sulfurous egg smell uh it wasn't pleasant at all but it didn't last for very long so that was good if i like leave anything out that you guys are curious about then let me know in the comments below and i don't even know if you guys will enjoy me talking about this at all but i get so many questions about my eyelashes uh mainly because of my like grow long eyelashes video that i thought if i'm gonna get a treatment done to my eyelashes i might as well make a video about it so sebastian just made a good point i didn't bring up how long the treatment's supposed to last it's supposed to last i think eight to twelve weeks and it depends on like your natural lash cycle and i'm going to actually include footage in this from tomorrow because i feel like this is a bad representation of what they're going to look like just because are like completely stuck together right now. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me. So as promised, I wanted to show you guys my eyelashes without the keratin mascara on them, which made them look really spiky. It's actually been a couple days since I washed that off. 
but yesterday I had like a really bad eye reaction to this Sunday Riley cream sample that I got from Sephora. My eyelids were like swollen shut. So they're still pretty swollen on top here, but they're not like completely swollen all the way to the bottom and they're super dry. So it's really annoying. It's super rainy out right now. So the lighting's just really unflattering. Also my room's a mess. I was filming in here yesterday. Everything's kind of everywhere. So this is what they look like and I actually love how the results are. These outer lashes, I think because I slept on that side while I was waiting for that 48 hour period, they're curling in a little bit more than I would like them to. But if I got this done again, I would try to like sleep on my back so that didn't happen. But yeah, so that's the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.